Yeah, like the whole um, mental health reason is why people are even leaving countries, right? So I can even understand that. Yeah. Um, and that reason why people want to leave too is the educational system. Mm. Mm. Even as like we're saying as creatives, we need to get training. And it's not just us. I was with a friend of mine, a, a lawyer. I was he was on the phone with another friend who was going to study in Harvard or something, and the same thing we discuss as actors was what he was discussing as a lawyer. And I'm like, ah, you reach your side too. Touch everybody. Touch everybody. Yeah. And people want to go study abroad, but <sighs> for people who are well traveled, um, I think this this one is going to be answered by let me see. Here I have Joshua Labi and Bini at Canada. I want to know what your thoughts are on studying abroad. I think um, for me, I have this general interest in studying and of course people studying. Um, but studying abroad, I, it's a wonderful thing, yeah? It is good because it's a different environment, being taught by different people. Um, people who were taught by different people, um, a totally new experience for me, which is good, which is really, really good. But based on where we're coming from, this Jaffa issue, I'm of the opinion that we've set a tone from the beginning that there's the structural and the cultural yeah. issue yeah. to everything that's, con that's Nigeria. So there's no way in the world that education is cheap. Um, I've thought about it, made a few research here and there. Education is really expensive. Learning, training is, mentorship could be very expensive as well. You know, so that information knowledge gathering space, it's, it's an industry. It's a business industry. So why do we want to imagine spending nothing here to get that education? and go there and spend so much. I know there's going to be a bit of here and there, but for me, I, my, my brother traveled recently. He went to the UK to study. Um, he had one or two masters here in Nigeria. And for me, really, there's no difference totally, because if you look at the universities abroad now, many of them, many of their great minds and not even within the academic institution anymore. Right. Well, from based from, from, from my own from my own point of view and from my industry, I'll say maybe I don't know so much about the legal industry, about the you know um, um, healthcare system industry, but I would say from the creative industry, the best teachers are not in the classroom. Right. So why then do I have to take fifty thousand euros or thirty thousand euros just to go there to learn? I'd probably go there for a short course that would lead me into something that would help me practice. We're still going Not, there. yeah, I'm going there, but really, it's also in the long run about bringing them here. It's about knowledge exchange. Yeah. So I, I don't see. I think this education route people are using to jackpot is just an excuse, yes. you know, to leave because you need to be there, yeah. either by, you know, by any means. So I don't see. I think the, I, I think that route is. For the sake of not sounding judgmental, even though I think I am, I I don't think it makes sense for me, for me personally. Well, where I was going was you know in the in the sixties and sixties seventies it was a thing that every young Nigerian would study you know secondary school here and then go abroad. Well, it was always in your mind to come back home come back, to do yeah, something. Yeah. I, I remember we were discussing we we did some research about how like in China, I think China. The country that sends the most people to the UK and the yeah. US to so the US yeah. very strong yeah. 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 thing yeah. that it yeah. was like, okay, go to this country, learn what they yes. have yeah. and yeah. come back. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I do not get the feeling that people are going there to learn and come back. Like they're going there to learn and just China, they're still going back. Yeah, no, but they are still going back. They're still going back home. Yeah. I had um in 2019, I was in a German film class. I had Two guys from Taiwan, one from Hong Kong, and then maybe two from China. They were all there. They went back home. Hmm. So each time, anytime I'm traveling to, to, to Germany again, I'd be like, oh, guys, I'm around. I'm hooking up with um, um, Jacqueline. There's this Indian lady who was in our class. And 
is anyone around? They'll be like, oh, they plan they decided not to come back. Mm -hmm. And also, I met one recently actually, this from this last trip, who said you have to sign a certain document because the government is sponsoring you. Mm -hmm. So you have to even come back. I, I said they, they do it willingly, they do it with joy because they want to come back to their nation to build it. Give that knowledge to build it. But at the same time, it's not free. It's expensive. So they have to pay back. Mm. So many of them are actually even being sponsored by the government. Mm. But the okay. government knows the value. They understand the, the value of broad-based education, the global knowledge. I'm also aware that the Nigerian government sponsors people to study abroad as well. Um, oh, yes. uh, yeah, 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 but yeah. it's, it, it's not... Right. I'm sorry to cut you because... I apologize mm. for this. Mm. My in-law, she's currently in Hungary, a girl of about 20 now. Mm. And she's the only Christian that was selected. And Jeez. according to her, she was selected through the grace of God. Because oh. we have the other religion as 90%. And they're well paid. Like, when I mean they're well paid, their monthly allowance for students, they're well paid over what the medium class banker earns monthly in Nigeria. <laughs> free house, free years, the Nigerian government. So she's the only random person. Every other person is the daughter or son of some yeah. someone from that. Well placed. Yeah. Well. Yeah. So that's why I don't believe in the this thing the Nigerian <laughs> government is running. I'm um, saying they're taking out people there. And she right. doesn't want to come back. Many of them are not coming back. If I if I, if I must add, I don't think it's a problem going because that was exactly the same thing um Le Kuan Yin did in Singapore. Mm. Like that was how they actually came from third world to first yeah. world. Mm. Yeah, that book on that. They, they yeah, even yeah, came yeah. to Nigeria. Yeah, there's a book on that. No, he, so that's Malaysia. Sorry. Yeah, Malaysia. Malaysia oh. did so he 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 said it, and China China adopted that method to send a very large group diaspora. Then they have very strong guys coming back. So China with that amount of population, see so what they are doing now. They are now driving world power with the US. I so mean. it's Jakarta could, could be done rightly. Mm. India also did it large population what are, what are we doing with these people mostly unskilled somebody designs a phone in america bring it here you have mass food um, and mass labor so it's cheaper what if we get our own guys doing the design and now you have what you have in china so it can be rightly done the problem is that the guys going and not returning Rather, they... we're going we're going to we're going to add but we're going to add that's to, a question think, though. um mm -hmm. is, it, is it this year or last year so i said one statistic figure like that 1.9 billion oh. yeah education um taught, how do you put it money that nigerians have given to the oh. um, to the uk to the uk yes. education yes. 1.9 billion pounds yeah i saw that right um, so now you're looking at okay where's that money flying from now. where's it flying from although we actually also benefit from our guys in diaspora because um what's it called um, aside from FDI. foreign diet yeah foreign diet investment mm. and then money coming from our diaspora but the one we are giving there is way, way more, more, more than what we are right? getting. Yeah, it's way more. So you're seeing, aside from human um, human capital, aside from brain drain yeah. here in the country, capital you're also finance. looking at um, finances and then how... So it's the issue of them not coming back. If that they go come back and then add to our economy, right, and add to the... And this is the scary part of the whole thing. It's that you calculate this over a span of time, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're looking at 10, 20 years from now, who are those going to be left? So even the people that are not going, it is who are we going to have in yeah. the country with us? Yes. Right? Because there are some people that are not privileged to go. So those ones that are going to <laughs> those ones are going to be occupying the offices and yeah. the likes of them. So it's just that Jack Bacon can be rightly done. It can be rightly done. I feel like this particular question, there is like more than one um, way to like Sounds more than more things to see. Because in it, in itself, going to another place is an experience that everybody should have that's how your mind opens you see things yeah. you learn mm -hmm. you develop as a human being we shouldn't spend like our lives in just one place yeah, yes. true, true, true. so objectively going abroad to school or anything is great but now when you think about it as say a nigerian student that i am if i eventually graduate next year I've already spent seven yes. years. This is my seventh year in school. That's the reality. Yeah. There might still be more strikes. Oh you don't know God. if we're going to graduate next year. Or I think year. Exactly. Yeah, that's the nice. Exactly. Now, yeah. 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 exactly. yeah. 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 there's legit. a country that's actively stealing years of my life. Hmm. Yeah. 
by the time I'm free to go, the reason I can't, okay, if I wanted to go to like a film school abroad or something, I can't leave because at the end of the day, the call of the strike, I have to come back and continue my medicine. Mm. So they are literally like holding, holding your life. Yeah. Exactly. Hostage. That is it. So when I am eventually done, I want to leave the country. I've given you some of my youth. Mm. I'm just mm-hmm. going to like enjoy. I'm going to kick it here. <laughs> Where I don't have to die by the <laughs> systems or anything. I've already given you, if taking enough from it. And I can tell you that, like, many students feel resentment against the government because yeah. the later you graduate, the later you start making money, the later you set yes. up your life. Yes. Yes. And your parents are getting yeah. older. Exactly. Yeah. People have responsibilities. How about students that are taking care of themselves? Mm. So yeah, it's so complicated. Nigeria is things. such a special place that like, it affects you on the most fundamental, like, levels you don't even think of. Just imagine somebody in that in a situation that peculiar. Mm. Yeah. Mm, like sure. Nigeria is just something else. Like it is. So you can't say that Nigeria is sending you to go do something. Come back to do what? Yeah. You're trying to make a change. Everybody else there is giving you some kind of stress or something. I'm beefing you said it yourself, like people are not going to work. Why are yeah. you coming back to? And then when your mind is open, you know where you come from, like now. Nah. Yeah. You are now smarter. Mm-hmm. You can see that okay, even if you thought you could make a change, so I'm like, mm. if I'm being honest with everything I've actually learned here, <laughs> there's no point. Uh, I think Jack Mad. Oh, okay. sorry. Mm-hmm. What do you keep doing? <laughs> <laughs> let me let me I'll let me break that. He- break that. Yeah. 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 To uh bounce off what she said about why should they come out, come back rather. Let me give an example of all these fintechs that have started up Ooh, and startups. and the country has choked. Oh, the life true. out of them. Like yeah. it's like yeah. they're taking care of yeah. every possible angle to be Look successful. at um Gokada, Max Okada, oh, all those yeah. um Bounty. all, all those girls. and the, the, the government brings up these ridiculous yes. regulations policies. and policies that, that just kills them stifles. before the, yeah, it stifles them. Not even just stifles. If you stifle someone, maybe air is still it kills them completely. Completely. The uh, I I I can't remember the figure. The owner of Gokada came up with a no, not Gokada. This other one, Opie. Is it Opie? No, I think it was Opie. Yes. The the amount of money he lost in 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 the investment because they banned Okada. They they banned Okada. Is it not the Okada that is still flying up and down? I I, I personally think that was a cabal this week. It, yeah. it was. Yeah, it yeah, was. Yeah. They want they they tried it with um with Uber Bolt now. and Uber. Yeah. Nigerians had to yeah. because we we could see their their cabs already in 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 taxi parks. Yes, 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 right. yes their bright colors. Yes, their bright colors. Yeah, exactly. but I, I think in that case it was more of them trying to keep their money inside as again giving it to outsiders. No. 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 I, if you so, when you say inside, you mean in their own pockets on or in the country? Like, uh, no, no, because, because yeah, that's that's very, so, Nigeria has done that time. Nigeria has done, that that Nigeria <laughs> has done indigenization policy of nineteen seventy two before. We've done all those things where you know there was yeah. a, you have to have a certain a number of Nigerian nationals mm-hmm. on your board, mm-hmm. and then that's how a lot of people, a lot of big families today, especially came mm-hmm. to like have big shares yes. in John Holt. Yes, big yes, corporations. Yes, yes, yes. And that's fine. The issue is, I think there's a there's a chronic lack of integrity. Mm-hmm. So it seems like we're importing an idea for people who have integrity and we're putting it here. Yeah. It's like bringing a crop that grows well in some other mm-hmm. place. And you're putting yeah. it here and your soil is rocky mm-hmm. and yeah. doesn't support that. So mm-hmm. it, it looks like, so it's not the ideas. Like he said, Jackpot can be done well. Singapore, Malaysia, Malaysia came to get palm nuts for, yeah, for yeah, us in the 1970s. Yeah. Do you understand? They came, they learned, and, they, and their palm, of course, their plantations now are like, you know, sprawling and they're yeah. exporting. So these things can be done. The issue is, what is the mindset? Is everybody going there with, man, chop, man, chop, man, chop? Yes. Do you understand? We think of Fubele mm. before you give it up. Or are you going there to say, no, this is not just about me, it's the committee. Yeah. It is what all of us, posterity will be kind to those of us who are going there, foreigners, mm. and come back. If everybody has that idea. I'm not saying that people who go and don't come back don't have a legit reason. I mean, Nigeria hasn't been kind to people that true, died true. for the yeah, country. True, yeah. true, true. Athletes, some of them, their students are still there, their oh, children. God, just sad. Some of them like, who died in service. Yeah. Do you understand? Servicemen, widows oh. of servicemen, the list is endless. Military. The issue is, those of us here, let's start to try and give an enabling environment. The little that we can do mm-hmm. is what we can do. And I feel like Jackpot is also suited towards 
your own according to professions for us we are, most of us are creatives here yeah 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 most of us i feel like now that the streaming wars are coming to us mm. in many of us are not as ginger to go there to break, yeah yeah because i mean all the knowledge that you can get can be on the internet it can be from you know um you know and all around us you know they're coming here so like yeah. making yourself available on the internet for them to see you just go and work and come back is more but if you are in an industry like maybe legal industry of healthcare what are we talking about you know those those i feel like those ones are more predisposed because of the nature of their professions to go in there so i feel that as a creative for instance if i was doing geography <laughs> and the first class geography a lot of people are like, why are you not teaching me? Why are you not in NASA? I, I have friends in NASA who were even on 2-1. But I'm like... Do you have friends in NASA? Yeah, I have friends yeah. in NASA. Yeah, we, could, we could talk to like, like, like some and, figures that were there. And I have... <laughs> you know, I, have I, I mean, maybe not friends, friends of people I know. Let me not say friends. <laughs> and all of that. And I have some of them, who, one of them who's really a friend, who's doing like international work and all. And he was talking with me. And I'm like, as in, why, why are you in Nigeria? Like, mm. tell me why. And I'm like, this is what I want to do. This is where I feel like I'm better positioned. This is where I feel like I can make a change from to the world. Um, I, so I feel that if you understand the structure of your career and you know that you can go there and do something meaningful to that purpose, mm. do you understand? Then yeah, do it. Right. The girl in the video that's kind of, I think, sparked this thing on Twitter. Funny, lucky, funny enough, I know her from UI and oh. she's, a, she's a brilliant mind. And I could relate to a lot of things that she was saying because I'm sure a lot of her classmates are wondering what she's still doing here. But I understand if you're in an industry that you feel is well positioned here, by all means, resist the pressure and do what you can. Shine your light to the world. But if you're carrying that light to the world where you're going, I'm sorry, there's the waitress thing in California, true, oh, right? Yes. You're going there to be in a sea of many people yeah, all, all over the world. Candles. All over the world. Do you understand? Yeah. You're, exactly. You're carrying sand to the beach. Do you understand? Yeah. So, like, if you know that you're better positioned here, don't lie to yourself. Do it from here. If you know that your your, your profession is better at the risk of deteriorating yeah. myself, we all get the gist that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I, I think it will get to a point where artists will be the only people left. Because we're the ones that are leaving as well.